Hello, and welcome to the Met Plus training for running MetViewer through a Docker container. My name is John Halligatway, and I'm a software engineer working on the development and support of the Met Plus software components. Please note that this content was developed for MetViewer version 3.1. In this video, we will launch and run the MetViewer database and display software using Docker containers. The MetViewer software aggregates and plots statistical output from the model evaluation tools, or MET, software. If you'd like to learn more about MET, MET Viewer, or any of the other MET Plus components, please refer to the MET Plus website at dtcenter.org. We will begin by launching a terminal window in which we can execute commands. Do this by running Xterm on a Linux machine, launching a terminal emulator on Windows, or opening the terminal application on a Mac, as I have done here. We assume that you're working on a machine on which the Docker software has already been installed. MetViewer uses container orchestration provided by Docker Compose. Let's make sure that both Docker and Docker Compose are available in your path. Which Docker and which Docker Compose. If you do not have Docker or Docker Compose installed on your machine, please exit this video and proceed to the Docker website at www.docker.com. Next, let's test that Docker is running properly on your machine by running the docker hello world command. So docker run hello world. If you're following along with the script of this video, all commands shown in code blocks may be copied and pasted into your terminal window. If hello world was successful, you should see a hello from docker message followed by some information and links. If this command did not run successfully, please exit this video and work on your Docker installation. Running MetViewer through Docker requires two software images, one for the MetViewer software itself and a second for the MySQL database component. A Docker Compose YAML file defines how they work together to run the MetViewer application. So let's start by downloading that Docker Compose file from the MetViewer GitHub repository. I'll execute this curl command to retrieve it. Let's take a look at the Docker Compose YAML file. cat docker compose .yaml. Notice that it references some environment variables. The MetViewer Docker image is the name and version of MetViewer that you'd like to run. MetViewer data is a directory on your machine where the Met output file that you'd like to analyze live. MySQL dir is a directory on your machine where the MySQL database file should be written. And MetViewer dir is a directory on your machine where MetViewer should write its output files. For this tutorial, we'll get some Met output files by downloading a sample data tar file from the DTC website. This curl command creates a directory named metout, which contains the met output files that are created by running make test when compiling the met software. Next, we'll set up directories for the met viewer output and define the expected environment variables. The following commands use the syntax for the bash shell, but the corresponding commands for C shell are included in the script of this video. Notice that I'm using PWD to reference your current working directory and to find full paths instead of relative ones. So I'll start by creating directories for MySQL output and the MetViewer output. And then I will export MetViewer data as PWD slash MetOut. So this is the Met output files we just downloaded to your local machine. And I will export MySQL dir as PWD slash MySQL and MetViewer dir as PWD slash MetViewer. And lastly, MetViewer Docker image is the name of the MetViewer image that we want to run, DT Center slash MetViewer. With this setting, Docker will pull the latest version of the MetViewer image from the DT Center organization on Docker Hub. Now that our environment is set up, we can launch MetViewer with a single command from the directory that contains the Docker Compose YAML file. We just type docker compose up minus D. 
If this is your first time launching MetViewer, this Docker Compose command will automatically download the MySQL and MetViewer images from Docker Hub prior to bringing up the MetViewer application. The time required to download these images will vary based on your network speed, or if you have launched NetViewer previously, as I have, Docker will use the images that already exist on your machine. Let's check to see what containers are now running through Docker by running docker ps-a. You should see two containers up and running, one named NetViewer underscore one, another one named MySQL underscore MV. Next, we will go to a web browser and copy and paste the MetViewer URL into the web browser. So localhost colon 8080 slash MetViewer slash MetViewer1.jsp. So MetViewer is now up and running on your machine and the GUI is accessible via this browser. But if you click on the select databases button at the top of the GUI, you'll find that the list of databases is empty. The next step is loading our sample Met output files into a new MetViewer database. MetViewer requires that the user create an XML file to define the location and type of data you'd like to load. This is called a load spec file. For convenience, we've included a load spec in the sample data tar file. On your machine, the sample data is in the MetOut directory, but that directory is mounted inside the MetViewer container to a directory named slash data. Since the MetViewer load occurs inside the container, the load spec references that slash data directory. So let's cat met out load underscore met underscore out dot XML. The folder temple tag or the folder template is an important one to note. It defines the directories that contain the met output files that should be loaded into MetViewer. And notice that the database tag here indicates that we want to load data into a database named mv underscore meta. But before we're able to do that, we'll need to run commands to first create that database, and then second, apply the MetViewer schema to it. We run the docker exec command to execute commands inside of a container that's already up and running. We'll launch an interactive bash shell inside the MetViewer container to effectively log into it. So here let's run docker exec dash it MetViewer1 slash bin slash bash. So this says inside of the MetViewer1 container, execute the bin bash command. And the dash it option says we want an interactive terminal shell. Before creating our new database, let me point out the location of a few things inside the MetViewer container. The slash MetViewer directory is where MetViewer is installed. In particular, the SQL subdirectory here contains a file which defines the MetViewer database schema, mv underscore mysql.sql. The R template directory here contains plot templates and the bin directory contains scripts which load data into a database, prune data out of a database and generate plots, both summary scorecard and plots that can be created through the GUI. The MV batch script here creates plots on the commands command line instead of running interactively through the GUI. It allows MetViewer plotting to be automated through cron or some other run script. This container also includes Java and Python, since both are used in this version of MetViewer. Java is installed there, and Python is installed there. From inside the container, run the following command to create a new database named mv underscore met underscore out, and apply the MetViewer schema to it. These two steps are required prior to loading data into any new database. So MySQL, the host is MySQL underscore MV, which is the name of the MySQL container. The username is root, the password is MV user. And we want to execute the command create database MV underscore met underscore out. Next for this, uh, for this newly created database, we need to apply the MetViewer schema. 
So MV met out, we want to apply the schema, which if you remember, lives in met viewer, SQL, MV underscore MySQL dot SQL. So now we've created the database, applied the schema. The last step is running the MV load script to load the met output into this database. Let's first make sure that the shell script is executable. Schmod plus X slash met viewer slash bin MV load. And then we will execute that script. And we need to pass, remember the, uh, we need to pass in the load XML, which was mounted into the slash data directory. So this script requires a single argument, the load XML file. And the load, this load may include some warning messages, but it's complete when you see the line that reads, MV load done. So it's loaded the data right now. It is creating indexes for that database. And there's the completion message, message MV load done. So you'll see this, uh, the log messages include information about how much mid output was loaded and how long it took to load. So once we've done this, let's go back to your web browser. Whenever adding a new database, you also need to click the reload databases button in the upper right corner to tell the GUI to requery the list of databases. Also, clear the browser cache by holding down the shift key and clicking the refresh button. This works on the Chrome browser, but the process for cleaning your cache may differ in other browsers. Checking the list of databases, we now see one named mb underscore met underscore out in a group named met plus training. Note that this tutorial does not describe how to actually make plots with MetViewer, just launching it through Docker. But you can follow these steps to load your own Met output data into MetViewer. Be sure to create a new load spec XML file to describe the location of your data. You can either load all of your data into a single database or organize your data into multiple databases. Note that if you want to overwrite the contents of an existing database, be sure to run a MySQL drop command before recreating the database. So the drop command would look like this. Instead of creating the database, you would run drop database. I want to actually execute this command here, but that's how you would do it. So I'll just control C out of that. Next, let's take the map your application down. Since we're still logged in the container, we first need to exit out of it by typing exit. After making sure that we're in a directory that contains the Docker Compose YAML file, which we are, we'll run Docker Compose to take it down. So Docker dash compose down. You see it's stopping the two running containers, MetViewer 1 and MySQL. And once this is finished, we'll run Docker PS minus A and see that the MetViewer and MySQL containers are now gone. And going back up to check the web browser, I'll just refresh this. You see that the MetViewer GUI is no longer available. Now, back on the terminal window, let's bring MetViewer back up. Let me minimize the browser, and we will run docker compose up minus C. And now let's go, so it brought MetViewer back up. Let's go check the web browser. Refresh it. Check the list of databases. And the GUI is now available. And not only that, the MV met out database still exists. This is the reason why we write the MySQL output file to your local machine. Whenever you relaunch MetViewer, it reads any existing database information from those files. So you can stop and start the MetViewer container whenever you'd like without losing any data. Thanks for the watching this video. I hope you find running MetViewer through Docker to be a useful option.